Hello friends, uh, how are you doing? I'm back again with this new video and I welcome you all to my channel, George Aida Explorer. And uh, first of all, I want to wish you all a very happy, peaceful, prosperous and uh, very wonderful New Year 2024. And uh, may your desires and dreams be fulfilled this year and your days filled with peace, happy peace and harmony throughout. Okay. And uh, I know many of you may have been on vacation now, still on vacation. Or are you back to work, back with your daily activities? Anyway, let's work towards a better day ahead in this year with much positivity, confidence and uh, enthusiasm. Alright? With this, I'm going to start this video in this beautiful garden area. It's called uh, Kamala Nehru Park. It's in, as I call the Kamala Nehru Park. And uh, this is in uh, Malabar Hill. Malabar is, uh, is one of the most, it's the most exclusive and hub market locality in South Mumbai. So I'm going to start this video in this garden now, today. Okay. And, uh, and first uh, today I have no intention to show you this park. We have shown this park in one of my previous videos. I want to show you that. I don't want to show you that again. Today I'm here just to start this video because this area is so beautiful. This park is so beautiful. And uh, that's why I'm here. And uh, still I want to show you a brief view of this uh, garden. Okay. And of course, this park is on a hillock, and uh, uh, you can, that's why you get to see a beautiful view of the Arabian Sea and the Mumbai skyline from here. I'll show you. You can see the bit. Uh, now it's. Uh, you can see the view. Of, I'll show you this one viewpoint. I'm going to that viewpoint right now, and I'll show you the Arabian Sea and the Mumbai skyline from there. And uh, this is. Uh, garden see the beauty of the garden it's so beautiful and uh, see there are several people already <laughs> gathered in the time is close to 4 p.m and uh, after 4 5 p.m you can see so much crowd here Okay, this is a view of the Arabian Sea and the Mumbai skyline from here. You can see the beautiful view of Mumbai skyline and the Arabian Sea. Uh, Malabar is considered the most expensive and exclusive area not only in Mumbai but in the entire world. Yes, you had it right. It's uh, one of the most expensive places in the world, Malabar Hill. And uh, we have to spend a fortune for a single bedroom hall, kitchen, apartment area here. Oh, you know, millions of dollars. Yes, this is too expensive. Okay. And well, this area is so beautiful with full of greenery, trees, and so verdant. And also one of the most expensive, not one of the most, the most expensive area in Mumbai and also in the world. Yeah, this is one of the most expensive areas in the world. Malabar Hill. And uh, friends, uh, this is also the place where most of the Mumbai's business tycoons and well-known families reside. And uh, this place also has a great history and uh, cultural significance attached to it. And uh, also you get to see several historic landmarks here. And one of the popular landmarks we are going to visit today is called uh, uh, Ban Ganga Tank and uh, Ban Ganga Tank and Walkeshwar Temple. Both are so popular here. So we're gonna be heading to that place and I'll tell you all the details of this place after reaching there, okay? So please stay tuned. And on the way, of course, you get to see all this omnipresent Mumbai special street food stalls. This is everywhere. Wherever you go, you can see these street food stalls. Okay. 
ये वर्केश टेम्पल कहाँ पे स्टेज पे कितना टाइम लगेगा थैंक यू ओके आई नॉट अ फैन ऑफ बेलपुरी सो आई नॉट हैविंग इट एंड आई आस्ट दिस गाय इस साइड ऑन टेन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स वॉकिंग डिस्टेंस टू वर्केश टेम्पल फ्रॉम यर ओके दिस एरिया अराउंड and uh, this is uh, this is a place and uh, this place called uh, uh, kamla nehru park area so i don't know the exact name but uh, this is the kamla nehru park and uh, that is the hanging garden and hanging garden also show you in my previous video so i'm not going there today and uh, my our destination today is walkeshwar temple and uh, ban ganga tank okay You can see so many uh, cabs and uh, private vehicles, private cars parked uh, on the sides of the road, both sides of this road. And uh, this particular, this one club named uh, the Malabar Hill Club. This is a Malabar Hill Club. Yeah, and uh, this also. so popular here this is members only club so we can explore this and uh, there are several stores on the sides and all the area is of course so fabulous You can see the beautiful tree. This is the this is this is banyan tree. You can see the branches hanging from above, hanging from the branches of this tree. This is the specialty of this banyan tree. All this, all this uh, I mean roots, not branches. All these roots are hanging from the branches of this tree. Isn't it amazing? You get to see such trees everywhere. So many, almost all places in Mumbai. Can see this bungalow? Is uh, I think it's one of the uh, bungalow belongs to uh, some business tycoons. I don't know who is this. Who is the owner of this? Isn't it amazing? There are several bungalows like this all around uh, Malabar Hill. and uh, also the last everything is available but it's not easy to get millions and millions of dollars what this is one of the beautiful building i love all the flowers in the balcony there are so many uh, buildings apartment blocks and the villas all around this area you can see There are so many villas also. I think this is the apartment block. And, uh, and there are some functionists going. This uh, road is called. This area is called. Uh, Ridge Road, and you can see the boat, and also a video building. There are several such buildings all around. I just want to show you.
This is another fruit vendor. This is what you have, bro. This is what? Strawberry? Strawberry SOB. SOB box. Here? Yeah. There are so many fruit vendors. This is a friend. You can see all these beautiful lands. Streets and uh, the buildings all around. So now I am heading for the our destination is uh, Valkyrie Temple and uh, Bangkok Tank. It's so popular here. And uh, friends, right now I'm in this place called uh, In Bati Valkyrie. It's a one of these places called In Bati in Valkyrie. And uh, you get to see, you can see all these uh, apartment blocks, beautiful. This one panorama, Valkyrie Road. It's a beautiful apartment here. And uh, there are several buildings and apartment blocks all around. All these are so expensive, mm. and uh, now there's uh, I find some beautiful small temple, roadside temple. It's a common sight here. The small beautiful temple here, where people come and do archana pujas and archanas here. It's a small temple, roadside temple, and. Uh, now we're heading for the and uh, this. Uh, Acha, bhai, uh, ye apna Valkyrie Mandir kaha pe jo uh, Bankan ka tank. Bankan ka tank. Ha ha ha. Yahan so pile color ka mandir jo dikhte hai na. Acha. Wahan se aapko right me niche jaane ka rasta diye. Ab zada rutrenge plus bara. So Bankan ka tank. Okay, thank you. Okay, so almost uh, reached that place. Bankan ka tank and Valkyrie Temple. So very close, bhai. I asked this guy. It's very close there. And uh, friends, I also want to show you this fabulous, amazing sky races all around. See all these sky races, apartment blocks. And uh, there are hundreds and hundreds of them all around this area not hundreds <laughs> i think maybe in thousands and uh, no, i think i have to it's almost reached that place i think uh, there is one uh i can see that yellow mandir i think somewhere around that area and uh, for this one i don't know probably almost reached the banganga tank and the valkyrie mandir it's a small lane again I have to uh, go through this lane and uh, somewhere around this place is a small market area and uh, it doesn't look like a park issue but uh, it's a small lane I lead into that place okay Banganga tank and uh, Valkyrie Mandi it's a small little, small tiny shops all around this area this lane or uh, this Tea. Tiny cup tea. And this small line leading to that place. I try to walk down these steps. And uh, you can see all these steps. And, uh, it's a narrow line. It's the first time I'm coming this area. And the small steps, narrow line. And this uh, leading to that place, Ban Kanka. Tank and Valkyrie Temple. Also six. So, it's a very old, thousands of years old temple. So.
<laughs> it's so funny. You can see several temples like this. There's one another temple. And uh, there's a uh, Balaji Mandir. It's a Balaji Mandir. So, amazing. There's a several small tiny temples all around. And uh, we are heading to Valkishwar Temple and Banganga Tank. There's a small line, several lines like this all around. So another this one guy selling this one Mumbai street food. Samosa. This is a samosa. Samosa, no? You can see all these uh, street vendors selling a variety of stuffs and uh, you know this is a temple premises temple is over there this is a Bankanga tank it's a historical place I'll tell you the history behind this place this is a Bankanga tank and uh, the temple is somewhere around this area I think the several street vendors you can see selling varieties of varieties of Varieties of things and all this stuff of Puja. This is Puja. What is it? It's a statue. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay, okay. All these are Puja items. Okay. There's also fruits. <laughs> also, fruits are also available here. And uh, basically, this, uh, this vendor selling Puja items. Okay. Another one here, puja items here. There's another tiny temple here. There's a Hanuman Mandir is close now. Okay. And a very south temple we are heading. We are searching for Valkyrie Temple here. There's somewhere around. Okay. Valkyrie Temple Mandir is here. Mandir is here. Come on. Come on. That's right. The temple is last side, I think. Small temple here. There are so many temples all around this area. I think this temple street. This a temple street, I think. And also all these vendors. So many vendors of varieties of selling varieties of things, say some vegetable, fruits, puja items, everything. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? There's a very old space, you can see all these buildings are hundreds of years old. And also temples. There's a very a temple, my dear friend. Temple Kapi. Oh. And this is the temple, dear friends, uh, we were searching for. There is a famous Valukeshwar Mandir. This is the temple. Okay. Both this uh, Valukeshwar Temple and Banganga Tank have uh, legendary origins, tracing back thousands of years. Steeped in mythological tales, it is believed that Lord Rama, the revered uh, Hindu deity, created both this temple and uh, water body named uh, Banganga Tank. The legend has it that Rama post uh, stopped at this spot on his way from Ayodhya to Langa uh, in pursuit of the demon king Ravana, who kidnapped his wife Sita. And the Lord Ram came across some rishis, rishis means some holy men uh, here, uh, who advised him to worship Shiva Lingam. Shiva Lingam is an abstract form of Shiva, Lord Shiva. And then he is uh, believed to have considered one Linga out of sand. So the name derives from the Sanskrit word for an idol made of sand, Valuka Ishwar. Uh, that, that means, uh, I mean, Valuka means sand and Ishwar means God. Then gradually, uh, over time, Waluka is attained to Walkishur. 
As the story progresses, when Rama was thirsty, as there, as there was no fresh water available uh, that time, he shot an arrow from his bow, the mighty Shiva Dhanush, into the ground at this spot. The impact gave rise to a miraculous spring, uh, bringing forth the holy, holy waters of the Ganges River to quench their thirst. You can also see all these beautiful birds. I think uh, this is swan, most probably. So amazing. This is, uh, they are all around this uh, water body. This is the story behind this temple, Walkeshu Temple and Banganga Tank, this water body. And uh, over time this site became revered as a sacred uh, pilgrimage spot. Over centuries the tank evolved into a hub of spiritual activity, attracting devout pilgrims, sadhus or holy men and uh, seekers of divine blessings. And uh, from this uh, Banganga tank, uh, surrounded by ancient temples, guards, guards means all these steps leading to the water, and intricately carved shrines became uh, part of relig religious and cultural significance. This site witnessed the rise of temples dedicated to various Hindu deities, including the iconic Valkyrie temple that was seen uh, just a while ago. And friends, uh, I wa one thing I noticed here that uh, all these puja materials. Uh, strewn around uh, all these places. Uh, this place would have been well maintained considering the historical and uh, cultural significance of this place. I think uh, that is the one thing I noticed here. Well, of course, now I live in this place. It was an amazing experience visiting both these places. Both these thousands of years old, legendary places, steeped in mystery, of course. And now I'm heading back to the railway station. And the closest railway station is, of course, Grand Road, I think. Yes, Grand Road is a uh, Closest railway station, and uh, of course, I'll be showing uh, some other area on the way. Okay, and as the area becomes so amazing after sunset, you can see all the street lights, traffic lights, and various lighting arrangements all along the way. So beautiful. There are so many shops. Yeah, the snack owner, I'm gonna have some snacks, I'm gonna have something to eat. What is this, brother? What is this? It's a kachuri, right? And a samosa. Is it a Punjabi samosa? Is it a Punjabi samosa? Yes. It's a samosa. How many? Two. Two. Yeah. That's beautiful. I have a snack on here. I'm going to have some samosa here. This is my samosa. Two pieces. With chutney. Uh, this is the green chutney and this is the red chutney. This sweet and uh, this not sweet. This is uh, pudina chutney. Pudina chutney, I suppose. Okay. And plus right now I have this beautiful Gilgong, Gilgong beach area. I just want to show you this place after sunset. Isn't it so beautiful with all these lighting arrangements everywhere? It's so amazing. Beautification of this area is well done. And uh, that is the beach just uh, across this road. That is the beach area. And uh, see the beauty of this place. And plus, uh, right now, heading to CSC Station or Grand Road. Uh, because if I go to Grand Road, I like to change my train from the other. That will be difficult because of the crowd. So. Uh, so I'm heading to the CS station from there, I get a direct train. So, okay, for that I'll, I'll have to take a cab or a bus from here. This a bus shop out there. Okay. Now I'm on this bus, heading to the CS station. And first I finally made to CS station. I'm signing off now. I'll be coming soon with some of the industry content. Till then, goodbye. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share and like my videos. If you haven't subscribed, 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.